Tara gives this team an edge. She can play back to goal, she can absorb tackles, she can spin people. And so to give her that opportunity to get back up front and, and put herself on full display with all her attributes, I thought this was the right year, the right team to unleash what it is that is Tara Micchio. There's a chance now for SC, this is Hawking. Hawking good against two players, lays it off Micchio with the tip and in. I think that Tara's success this season obviously has been notable and recognizable with her stats, having 12 goals, a number of assists, and leading our team in points. I know Tara's freshman year, she was a defender, and her first couple of years, she was kind of playing positions that she didn't really want to play. She wanted to play forward. It doesn't matter what role you put her in. She's, she, all right, what do you need me to do? Okay, I'll do it. With our forwards from last year, like graduating, he was looking for someone to fill that spot, and I've always liked that position, so he tried me up there during spring, and I think that's where I got the chance to earn a starting spot as the other forward. I'm really happy for her that she gets to have this role, and she's doing really, really well in it. And here's Mickey Owen, who we've already highlighted. Left-footed shot, she's done it again. Another opportunity in front. Oh, and there you go, USC. Wait. Here's the service. It's a good one. It's flicked on and in. Tara Micchione making an early run at Pac-12 Player of the Year. In front of their keeper, Carly Nelson. And there's the game winner. My favorite goal of this season so far was the one that I just had against Utah. In front, Micchione creating. And there's the first tally. I decided to just do a little chip over her head and then it was right in front of the goal with no one in front of me and that's where I was able to finish easily. The way that she collects it and just flicks it right over the defender's head, the defender looked like she was like lost trying to follow it. The fact that she thought about doing it, number one, two, technically could execute it, but then once the ball came over the player's head, the relaxed state that she was in, playing it into the net. It was just like she was just playing a ball to her friend. In my opinion, she has a chance to be the leading goal scorer, points totaler in Division I women's soccer. And what's really impressive is her ability to finish and to be that dominant in games that are close 2-1, 3-1, which is pretty clutch for us and for our team. Everybody knows she's coming, and they still can't stop her. They plan for it. They send double teams. They try to get her to play negative and she still gets opportunity. She still scores goals. Her happy place is up top. There are players who can score, but they feel weight when they, when they go to, to play. These two, they don't feel that. Penelope and Tara, they walk out, they just enjoy, they relish the moments to score and to be productive that way for their team. And without them, we would be average. We'd be very, very average. With them, we're elite.